Morning everyone. Hey, we've got some important things to do today. I need a piece of equipment for the homestead. You can probably all guess what that is. It's a chainsaw. I don't have one yet. And as a needed piece of equipment on the homestead, especially if you have a lot of trees. And we have a lot of trees, which is really cool and really thankful for it. So we are going to go check out some chainsaws, a couple different brands, see what they're like. I've been doing a lot of research. I'll tell you about that later. And you have to stick around to see what we pick. All right, we're here at our favorite local hardware store. Not affiliated with anybody, they're their own entity, which is really cool. And so here we're gonna look at the Steel brand. Steel, still, however you wanna pronounce it. It's pretty much uh, top on the market and you're gonna pay for them, they're expensive, uh, but they, they last forever. And what is cool about Steel and Steel dealers is that they're all small independent stores there are no big box stores which is pretty sweet the next one we're going to look at after this is uh, Husqvarna which is up there as well and they are at a medium box store Hello. <laughs> and she's gonna help me uh, look at these two and then we're gonna go to a big box store Ew, I know but we're gonna go there because they have good prices and they have like medium quality and lower quality stuff uh, and we'll see how those look feel whatever but I've been doing a lot of research lately and I like to do a lot of research before I buy something now even still in Husqvarna have models that have issues with them and so you want to steer clear of those uh, I think this deal is the 221 and the Husqvarna is the 435, I think. They both have issues. Or is it the 440E? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I can't remember. But you want to do your research a little bit more. And once we purchase one, we will put it through a, a review for you guys in ease of handling, so on and so forth, ease of maintenance. And... Um, will tell you what models are good for a small homestead like ours. Now, if you live up in the northwest where you have a ton of large trees, you're going to want something a little bit more uh, sturdy, professional. If you live in the plain states with no trees and you're in a field, then you're really not going to need one that's going to be, you know, super powerful, large cc's large horsepower huge horsepower anyway you're probably gonna need something smaller like the still 177 which i heard is really really good for small branches and it just keeps running forever and ever and ever anyway let's go check out what they have here look at all these saws go go check them out b the 201 the 193 the 170 171 251 what do we want get down please Baby one. Mm, here's that 201. I think that's the one that's got the oil leak. I think it was 201. I'll put it down below in the video. But I think my price range is right in here. Or maybe here. Because I know this is one of the best ones on the market. Right there. The 251. But maybe the 180. I don't know yet. Definitely not this monster. 880 Magnum. It's got like a 48 inch bar on it. That's insane. No, oh, 59 inch. I don't have any trees that big. I probably couldn't pick that thing up. Alright. The wish list is right here. We'll see. Alright, we're here at Northern Tool, a medium box store, I guess you could say. Even though it's family owned. And they only have one Husqvarna. They have the pull in which is medium grade, I guess. Husqvarna is a top grade saw. The 450 Rancher is good, um, but I don't, I'm not gonna pay $400. So, we are looking for a 440 or 435, and I know you can get those online and they have great deals. 
All right, I guess it's on to the next door. They do have that 450, but I'm not going to buy that one. Okay, so my daughter, thank you, Ariel, pointed out that they do have some other ones over here. That's what she was trying to tell me. These are all the reconditioned ones. And Husqvarna, the reason I like them, they have a 440, a 440, a 450, and they've got some more up here. I don't know what they are. You see the Husqvarna boxes here, they're reconditioned. I see a 440. Um, I know these only have a month, a one month uh, warranty on them while the new Husqvarna's have two years, which is an amazing, amazing uh, benefit to buying a Husqvarna. But these are all certified reconditioned, factory reconditioned. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, we're at our local big box doing a little shopping. We're also gonna look and check out uh, the chainsaws here see what they got Ariel <laughs> you're all hello kittied out look at you <laughs> we're here in our local big box store and they've got actually some huskies some Husqvarna's good quality brand and they've also got something called a Remington I don't know much about them uh, I do know about Poland's they they're a fairly decent product so they've only got an 18 inch 16 and a 14, and they got a 20 inch on the Remington, and they got the big 460 Rancher for the Husqvarna, and the 450 and the 440, and the 435. So that's the selection here at the local big box, and we're just looking to see what they have today. The Husqvarna's they they have a, a similar price to every other. I think they're they're manufacturer set so. You're not going to find a better deal <laughs> anywhere. The, set, the price is the price on the Husqvarna's. I think that's the same with the still. Not sure about the other ones, though. But you can see the big price difference. The pull-in is $169 for the 18 and $399 for the, the comparable Husqvarna. So that's, that's a huge difference. All right. That's what we got. <laughs> We're really excited about this. This is one of the most important tools you can have on your homestead. Stick with us for our video next week and we'll reveal what we did purchase. We appreciate you being here and we'd love for you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also go visit us on countrylivingexperience.com for our homestead tool store and our blog. Also click on the video on the right hand side of the screen to see us make our leather axe sheath. It's one of our most popular videos. Have a great day. See you next time.